I'm Dan Johnson and we want to look over the uh, just aircraft stretch so Troy tell me a little bit about um, what's different here than what we've seen before give me the general picture and then I'll dig into some uh, detail questions well it's we tried to keep it as similar as the standard super stole the Rotax powered one is as close as we could keep the parts count to a minimum and uh, you know or standard and so basically what we did is we basically just calculated the CG and we ended up stretching it almost two feet to accommodate two feet. Okay. yeah that's quite a bit it is to accommodate the uh, you know 300 pound engines up front and we had a little bit of engineering to do with the motor mounts and hardware and stuff like that for the extra loads that those engines were going to put on the airframes but so you know I love the super stole wing before has the wing changed the wing is the same. Um, same. Same span? Same span. Same, same dual uh, slatted arrangements? It's, yeah, it's the same wing. So it folds still to everything just like a standard Super Stroll. Um, we, uh, we just uh, basically put more horsepower on it. Okay, so basically it's an airplane I loved flying with you last year at this show and just such marvelous performance and pretty much I think everybody knows about that now because you've gotten a lot of good publicity and and I've had some good coverage of it we did a pilot report together but now this is the extreme stretch I believe right they, they, super soul extreme yeah, stretch is that they, how you're putting it well they dubbed it XL just uh, super soul XL so it's a super soul XL okay yeah, probably the other super soul. and it is literally stretched a couple of feet longer yeah. but that's because you got a big engine up front now and you're using which engine tell us a little bit about it this engine here is actually a, uh, a UL 180 horsepower UL Belgium engine okay and uh, it's, uh, it's and the guys at UL power huh? yeah and is this the first time you've worked with this engine very first okay you've been all Rotax before is that correct? yeah Rotax you know Jabru's you know. oh you did Jabru's as well Jabru's. okay so first one with the UL power how'd that go so far, it's been great. We've only got probably 75 hours on this so far, but uh, well, so far it's quite a few. So you know, it's climbing at about three to four thousand feet a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you're gonna have to say that again because somehow was, when you started talking, I thought you were gonna say like 1800. I would have been impressed at that. Three to four thousand feet per minute. It's it's getting with it. Holy buckets! Yeah, that is. Fun. I mean, I've seen the angle, but you know, you can't appreciate from the ground. You can see the steep angle and all, but man, that is impressive. So what? how does that translate to ground roll then? I mean, do you use any runway? Well, the ground roll, <laughs> the ground roll is similar to like my Rotax powered because my airplane's 150 pounds lighter than ah, Okay, this. yeah, so, there's that. And you got, you got to get a little bit more weight mass moving, but once it gets going, it, it the torque takes over and it just goes. Oh, um, goodness. It's, this is still a light sport. Um, with that okay you're, you're staying with it yeah the but, power you can have yeah uh, you didn't uh, creep over the weight I though. didn't creep over the weight okay and even uh, with extending the fuselage and that's, the bigger engine that's correct that's a pretty impressive truck it is um, we're right on the edge like everybody else um, well but you use all you can use yeah and so you know a lot of guys will uh, will register to experimental and go with the 1550 gross today super stole super stole XL is a kit production that's correct and so because of the way you've built it he can go to a higher weight or she if whoever's building it absolutely and what's we that can number? go to 1550 1550 then. yeah and how would the uh, you know okay so that's more than 200 pounds more but with all that power I'm guessing it probably doesn't really make all that much difference in its performance it, it, it doesn't and that that's kind of where this where I've liked this you know you take the light sport version uh, with the Rotax 100 horsepower they work great um, um, you know, when you keep them around 11, 1200 pounds, you get them up 13, 20, maybe a little more, they, they start, you're still dealing with only 100 pounds. Where this thing, you can load it up and it's still, you, you, the torque comes in and it still goes. So this, uh, this engine not only delivers more horsepower, delivers, you know, I mean, horsepower and torque have a relationship. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. kind of go up and down together within some parameters but this delivers the ul power engine delivers a lot more torque for you it is it's uh how is the installation of the engine uh any differences you ran into you got a lot of experience with rotax and jabiru you mentioned but how did the installation go did you have oh gee we didn't think of that or anything like that 
you know, it, it went pretty pretty simple. Um, um, Robert Helms with UL, um, he was helpful, and uh, you know, because we had that fade at fuel injection right. stuff, you know. But uh, it went, it went, it went. It went just like you would assume a new project going. It went, but pretty simple. You had a few hassles, I'm sure you always do, but we it's got, an impressive engine with FADEC, with uh, fuel injection, yeah. and, and, and a lot of power here. Yeah. So uh, it's really uh, leaped you guys into the same category now with the Super Cub and the, uh, 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 the Zlin uh, Nomad. They have that 180 horse, but those are both big, heavy airplanes. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing, well, at three, three or 4,000 feet per minute, I'm still trying to get that in my brain and process it. Those are just some amazing performance. You've been kind of busy. Have you had a chance to work on LSA stuff? For SLSA stuff for this airplane? We've we've picked at it a little bit, but uh, we're we're still, I'm still kind of on hold right now. Okay. No problem. It's still a goal. Though. It is a goal. Okay, absolutely. you do plan to do absolutely. SLSA. Get a little bit of time, I guess, because you're building a lot of kits. You're doing pretty well with this, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, we are. Superstole has been a hit product, as yeah. far as I can tell. Thanks, it's been good. Yeah, it's certainly fun to fly, and in, uh, in the business side, well, you, you still got to be able to pay the bills and whatnot. Yeah. So, so you're selling some airplanes. Yep, we are. We're going to have a. Uh, um, I'm going to try to make my my um, XL to uh, Oshkosh with that 0320, 100, 160 horsepower. Is that right? Okay. Why even dabble with that, Troy? You know, there's still a lot of people out there that, uh, you know, everybody knows I'm a Rotax fan. I love Rotax. So, and, uh, um, but there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they they're, they still just, they're not, they may not like the sounds of it. They may, right. They, 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 for some, the number, the 5500 yeah. RPM number just doesn't compute for yeah. some people. I understand that. I came out of the GA world too, like homes and Continentals on my whole life until, until Rotax came into my life, basically. Yeah. Yeah, we love the Rotax engine, and it's a great engine, as you know very well. But, but so you're doing this for the choice, so people yeah, can have they can have Jabru, they can have Rotax, they can have UL Power, and now they're going to be able to have the Lycoming as well. Huh? That's that's it. Why not? And that's a great thing to do. Uh, a lot of great information, and we'll want to get some uh, more views and whatnot of the airplane flying and whatnot because we've seen it do it a lot here. Where do we come and get more information from Troy on the web? We'll put it on the screen for people. Um, JustAircraft.com. Okay. You can pretty much see everything right there. Hopefully we get some videos and stuff like that out there of this particular airplane now. And uh, it's uh, How many people working for you up there now? We got 27 on the payroll. Okay. So a pretty Part, good operation. part-time help and, you know. Sure. All right. Well, thanks for talking with us here today. Lots more information about the Just Aircraft, the Super Stole videos and more and all kinds of air, air affordable aviation products available on bydanjohnson.com.